Raising a mathematician training program is conducted for the age group of students who are in the age group of 13 to 15. Now why do we target this age group? Is If you look at great mathematicians and if you look at their age history, we realize that at the age of 13 to 15 was a crucial point in their life where they decided that mathematics is what they want to pursue throughout their life. And with that objective we realized or we felt that 13 to 15 is the right age group where we can tap the students' abilities and we felt that there are very few people who pursue research in mathematics and allied areas. And therefore, raising a mathematician training program tries to focus on creating research attitude among school students in that age group. Our topics covered in the program are different from what you would encounter in the school. And the topics that we cover, for example, uh, game theory is at the intersection of mathematics and economics. Financial mathematics is application of mathematics in finance. So we look at topics which are having a wide application in different areas and not just focusing on the pure mathematics part of it. And not just that, we also encourage students to look at ancient Indian mathematics and the topics, those are very relevant even in modern world today. And how those ancient Indian mathematicians were motivated or how they approach those mathematical problems in the 5th century or in the 7th century. And with that objective, raising a mathematician training program has been structured. If you are a student between 13 to 15 years of age and if you are really passionate about mathematics and you feel that, uh, that uh, maths is in your blood, then the application process for this program is very simple. The details about this program is put up in the month of October usually and the selection process happens in November and December and the final list of students is put up on the website by December end and the program generally happens in the month of May. So how do you apply for this program? It is not based on any test nor grades. There is a simple form that the students have to fill in and there are some subjective questions that they have to answer. Along with that, there is a form that the parents have to fill in and the teachers also should give a recommendation letter that why the student has to do this particular program and how is he going to get benefited from this program. So based on these three forms and based on anything else that you might have done in mathematics, say for example, you have discovered something new in mathematics or you have presented papers in some conferences or let's say you have uh, you have uh, got some uh, good scores in examinations like regional mathematics olympiad and all so based on all these things 100 students all over the country are selected uh, and then they are offered this particular uh, residential course and uh, it's a free of cost program it's just there is just a small application fee that you need to pay, fill i mean pay uh, but the, uh, the program is offered free of cost. Raising a Mathematician Foundation is an organization which works in the area of mathematics. Now I would like to tell you why this organization was formed. So if you look at educational institutions, they have mainly two objectives. One is a short term objective and the second is a long term objective. If you look at short term objective, the objective is to improve the grades of the student and their marks. And the long term objective is to improve their higher order thinking abilities, critical thinking skills and so on. But the problem that we face is that short term objectives are easier to measure. And therefore, all the stakeholders that is parents, teachers, educational institutions and students end up focusing on the short term goals resulting in myopic outcomes. On the other hand, long term goals which are very crucial for the student, for the nation and the society as a whole becomes sidelined because it is difficult to measure and hence none of the stakeholders focus on those skills which are really crucial for the students in the long run. And therefore we felt the need for an organization which would focus on these long term outcomes. And therefore, Raising a Mathematician Foundation was formed 
with an intention on focusing on those long term objectives and we realize that if we form a for profit organization then we will end up measuring the short term goals because there is a lot of incentive to focus on those goals and hence it is very crucial that we have an outlook of not for profit and hence that is how we can focus on the long term goals with that objective raising a mathematician foundation runs a 6 days residential program which is a flagship program of raising a mathematician foundation called as raising a mathematician training program so in this program we select 100 students all over the country and we conduct a 6 days residential course where the objective is to create research attitude among school students in the age group of 13 to 15 now in this program the students have to stay in the campus and they are given boarding and lodge and therefore they are always in the campus and interacting with the fellow students so this peer based learning also creates a different attitude among the students whereby they are able to learn with the mathematics which the other students know so the kind of educators that we have for this program are people who can take students to the next level and they connect mathematics to other areas like finance economics computer science so what they do what the faculties over here do is that they give a lot of a uh, lot of opportunity to opportunities to explore beyond the curriculum and come up with new findings so there are some sessions that happen on exploration like for example in geometry number theory and all where you explore and you discover a lot of new things uh, so that gives a taste for how to explore and how to do pursue research and how do you come up with uh, elementary research how we can come up with research papers that can be presented in national or international conferences how to write research articles and then we have some sessions which are which is a combination of mathematics and its application in other areas for example computer science so how do we use mathematics in computer science how does discrete math come into picture or what does graph theory even mean and what are the basics of graph theory it becomes a wholesome learning and it is not a compartmentalized learning where we learn algebra as a different topic geometry as a different topic uh, algorithms as a different topic combinatorics as a different topic so here things are learned as a whole in fact some topics are learned with uh, with a lot of aesthetic sense to it we do combinatorics along with music and dance i'm not sure how many of you would, would have thought that you could learn permutations and combinations through music poetry and dance so that is something that comes as a part of ancient indian mathematics and we do all these things and we, we see the connect to computer science so the whole idea is to make mathematics as a wholesome learning and not a compartmentalized learning and through this we expect students to pursue some kind of research at their own level they'll get an idea of what does financial mathematics mean or what kind of mathematics they will encounter in pure sciences and what kind of mathematics is required if they want to pursue some area like economics or in computer science what kind of mathematics will make them a better computer scientist so every year we divide the students mainly into four batches and batch a b and c are batches of new students we are segregated into batches based on their knowledge level in uh, different areas in mathematics and there is a batch d which is a group of students who have participated in raising mathematician training program in the past years in batch d we see something really special because these guys are so passionate that they they would sit and do math for 10 to 12 hours a day and that is why they want to come again and again in the program and uh, learn more in this course students not only learn from faculty but also learn from each other so it's a great opportunity for them because in their school they might be just one or two of them who are so passionate as they are in mathematics but here we have a group of 100 students across the country from more than 12 states who are there together just for one goal and that is mathematics so learning from each other is a great experience and that too when they all come from very diverse backgrounds we have students who come from very underprivileged background to the best of schools in the country so when all of them come on to a platform together and stay together for 6 days 
totally cut off from the rest of the world, then great learnings happen. It's a matter of great pride to share that four students of Raising a Mathematician training program have been selected for a, a five-week summer program in Princeton. It's a program called PACT, Program for Algorithm and Combinatorial Thinking. In fact, three of the students who are going from 10th to 11th and 11th to 12th, they have been selected for an advanced course where they select only 15 to 16 students all over the world. And three students are participants of Raising a Mathematician training program over these past few years. Now this residential camp is a free of cost training program which means that the lodging and board etc is provided free to the students. Now how do we run this program? Because if it is offered free to the students there is someone who is bearing the cost. So this program is run through generous support by individuals and corporates and we want to encourage people at large to contribute to this program because these students are going to contribute to the nation in the long run. And with that objective, we are appealing to the people to donate for this Raising a Mathematician training.